It's your girl Shay, and today we're going to be making my growth oil using these herbs and a little bit more. And if you are interested, make sure you stay with your girl because we got a lot going on today. Okay, before we start making the growth oil, I do want to fill up these bottles really quickly. So we're going to prep these bottles with some of the herbs. And then we're going to take the older growth oil that I've been having sit for weeks and put them in here. I normally allow my growth oils to set for a good two to three weeks before transferring them into the two ounce droppers. As you can see here, I was getting annoyed, so I made a little contraption to make it a little bit more easier for me to put the herbs inside of the two ounce droppers. We're trying to work smarter, not harder. Sorry if I sound like a little boy. Um, allergy season is really kicking my butt, so I'm trying to get over this, ugh, this right now, so. Anywho, reasoning behind me co-pressing my oils and herbs together, um, multiple reasons, but the main reason is by heating your oils, even if it's at a low temp, if you heat it too long or too much, you lose that value of that oil. And by me cold pressing it, I get the most value or the maximum value of that oil or oils that I'm using to make my growth oil. Okay, so I have this new thing that I'm using to put my oils in. I normally use a syringe to get it in and I'm trial and error in this right now. And so far it's becoming a fail for me because it's like it's getting in there but it's getting all over the place and it's like i don't want to waste any oils at all at this point but i don't know if you guys can let me know down in the comments something else that i can use for this please leave it down in the comments because i'm overusing this one Y'all see what I'm talking about? Like, so over it. So, so over it. Okay, guys. Now we're going to start making a new batch. I want to start off with using some of the oils, which are going to be sweet almond, jojoba, avocado, um, seed oil and so forth. I'm not going to give you all my oils I use. <laughs> um, also, we're going on to using some of the herbs um, and the Ayurvedic herbs as well. So I'm just going to speed it up so you can guys see. All right, we're just gonna slap a label on this so you guys can see exactly what it looks like in this packaging. And yeah, that's about it. How I make my growth oil, how I package them. So make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. I'm so excited to start this adventure on YouTube, so make sure you stay tuned. Bye.